Good morning, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I am feeling really tired. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but it's an early one today. I have like half my makeup on. I need to finish this off. I have like half lip liner on that's kind of worn off so that's not ideal but today is a good day why do you think it's a good day well you you guessed it by the title because you're here i'm going shopping with emily so i'm really excited although it is meant to rain so i think i might get slightly drowned when i walk outside the house so the hair is definitely not going to stay like this i think i need to just like roll with it and let the holiday hair come out mom and i call it holiday hair because we have such frizzy hair and the minute any kind of like damp or vapor hits the hair we get holiday hair Comment below, does anyone else get that? So good morning. You can see the light, like the sun is only just waking up this morning. So I'm just in my kitchen trying to get some light into the camera. But yes, good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I'm trying to vlog pretty much every day this month, if I can. I'll be uploading at 4 p.m. every day. So I'm so happy to have you here and let's go shopping. I am excited for this one. We're gonna head over to Battersea. It's gonna be a good one. I'm meeting Emily, so that's also gonna be good. Always good to have a catchy, a catchy, a bestie catch up whilst shopping. So I need to finish getting ready and then we go. Hallway light has randomly stopped working. I don't actually know how to fix this. I've turned the fuse on and off. The light bulb shouldn't have gone. And also all four wouldn't have gone at once, would they? So yeah, I don't know how to fix this, guys. I need some, some advice. I did just get the most delicious delivery. Look at these. I am so obsessed with gingerbread and this is whipped shower foam gingerbread and pavlova. This is literally about to make my shower go from hero to zero. I'm so happy about this. We're gonna just pretend <laughs> that they fit and then I will tidy that up when I'm back later. Oh my gosh, look at the festive vibes. I cannot cope. We have arrived literally just got to Battersea to do some shopping and we're here just as it's opened. I've never been here at opening before so hopefully it's going to be empty but let's see. I'm very excited. I think first stop is Reformation. Look how cute it looks. Oh my gosh, with all the lights. How amazing. Look, here she is. We're reunited. She's, she's got all of her returns. That's why Reformation is first stop. You know what? I've been telling myself I need to do them for days and I'm just sick of the size. So just bring them. Easy breezy. I'm on this screen, I've got a list of the dresses I want to try and I'm just typing them in to see if they have them in store. How cool is that? It was a cool concept but they don't actually have anything that I wanted. <laughs> I love this, it's very Parisian. It's not actually very Reformation vibe at all. And then every single year I see this dress, usually in green, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. But I'm looking for a birthday dress. I don't really want anything strappy, I don't think. The store's so empty, it's gorgeous. I feel like they don't actually have any of the stuff that I've seen online, probably because it's all on sale. This is lovely. Love the matching skirt as well. And some sales stuff. This one's nice. I quite like this one. I think this is quite nice actually. 
gorgeous back on it. And he just pulled this one out and it's actually unreal. How stunning. Okay, first up is this one. I do have my little bandeau underneath here, so ignore that. But she's quite cute, actually. Um, I just don't think I want something strappy, but I love the glitter. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, of course you can. I think it's gonna be too big for us, though. I know, I didn't look at it. The gray's quite nice, actually. Is it? I think you'll love her. Yeah, she's quite nice. But she's great. Yeah, she, she's great. If they did this in cream or a smaller size, she'd be perfect. We need to look online. Yeah, I know. What are you trying? Um, just a pair of jeans at the top. Ooh. Stock online. Cute. So it's a shame she's grey, but if she was like cream. <laughs> Can you hear Emily? I told you the cross changing rooms. <laughs> And I just heard Emily say, I hate trying things on. And I was just about to go on and say, I also hate trying things on, but needs must have came into the store with a full list of things that they have online to avoid myself trying them on. But they didn't have any of them, but they did have this one and they did have this. I'll pop on screen the ones I wanted to try just so you can see them if you do want to order them online. But yeah, this is like a really, oh my gosh, it's so warm. You can tell this is such good quality. Gorgeous. I didn't get the chance to show them the other outfit you put on. It looks so good. Um, you need to try it back on. <laughs> this one is a size too big for me, and I also have my leggings and my bra under it. But I just wanted to try it. I want to see if I suit this kind of midnight blue colour. So the dress I wanted was like midnight blue with a tie around the neck and I just loved it. Um, I need to tan. I haven't put fake tan on in so long. Um, but let's see if the midnight blue suits me. It is a size too big but I definitely like the colour. So I'm just trying this one for kind of colour way. Remember I have my leggings and I also have a bandeau underneath here um, because I'm doing lazy girls try on. But look at my bandeau. Let me try and hide the bandeau. Tuck her in. It's just way too big on me. But look, I don't hate the colour. The colour's actually quite nice. I think if I was tanned, the colour would be a lot nicer on me. Okay, I really, really like this. Obviously, I need to cover all my nipples up. But I've never even seen this online, and I wasn't expecting to like this. But it's kind of just like a mini velvet dress. I actually think it's really nice. Um, I think, I do like the red, but I think because I'm pale, it's just not, not the vibe right now. But this is so nice. It's very like velvety. Just a shame because there's so many things I want to try on in here and they didn't have any of them. So none of these were like on my wish list. Um, but it's still nice to just try some new things on and back into my clothes. I think we'll probably go to Space NK next. Yeah. Not the most successful shop in Reformation. Like I say, the things I wanted they didn't have, but at least I got to try some other bits on and decide what I don't want. And at least I know that I quite like Midnight Blue on me. Lulu! cute little tennis skirt it's not birthday themed at all but I feel like this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous for next year love it with a little skirt and I'm loving navy at the moment I do kind of really want some wide leg pants from here I just feel like they're gonna be amazing oh my gosh the puffers are really nice this is really similar to my aloe puffer I do a pink one this is nice <gasps> pink one for my upcoming trip it's sportswear isn't it yeah why we made it 
Tate went to buy a storm in this wonderful warm down puffer. Yeah, it's down and it's also windproof, so it's gonna be good. Oh, which is good. Oh, oh, no way. Yeah, I know. This is so much better than like Canada Goose. Oh yeah, it's best price wise. I wonder what it is compared to. Oh, we should do a comparison. Light, more lightweight. They have a white one as well. It's actually a really good dupe for Canada Goose if you just want like a down parker that's going to keep you warm in winter. And I would say the price is actually better. I was looking for this really nice one shoulder top that I have. I will link it. Um, they don't actually have any in my size. Lulu sizes tend to be really difficult to get in store. Um, and I really wanted it because it's just something that I wear all the time. I wanted to get it in another colour but they don't have it. always so nice in Lululemon. Every time I go in, I'm like, they're just the nicest staff members, aren't they? They so lovely. And I just love it when they speak to like real people and not like customers. She's like so she was, Em so was cool. joking about something she got and the girl was like, yeah, girl math. And it's like, oh, we, I, I just like that. She's like, it's basically free girl math. So this is not a dress for my birthday. I just got a random tennis dress I've wanted that hasn't been online for ages. So I hope it fits me. Bring we'll it. try it on when we get home. Yeah, bring it. it. Yeah. wear it. <gasps> wait for the activity. I was going to say, Oh my God, yeah. wait, wait for tennis. Yes, I was going to, there's a whole freaking tennis court. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do Space NK now. Oh my gosh, so they had the dip tea candle that I was looking for when I went to Westfield. It's basically like a huge, beautiful one. You probably remember the pink version being in my house and my boyfriend accidentally smashed I it. Everyone remembers, <laughs> I've talked about it so many times. He accidentally smashed it and it was £168 and it just never got replaced by him. Anyway, they had the beige one today. I should have just bought it because I've been looking for it for ages. But maybe I'll get myself it for my birthday. I don't know. But it's just a really nice decoration to have. Like, it's a forever thing to keep in the house. But I did get a mini diptyque. Can I say mini? Mini in comparison to that one. It's actually regular size. But it feels mini in comparison to the huge one. Um, it's the cotton scent. And it's just so beautiful and festive. I like to get myself a festive diptyque candle every year. I haven't been into a physical The Body Shop store in ages. And they always just smell so good. So I'm going to pop because they always do such good Christmas presents.
They have Abercrombie. Need to go into Abercrombie. I haven't been into a physical Abercrombie store in years. In our last come shop with me Westfield vlog, M walks in <gasps> and talk about the McLaren. Oh, I did. Abercrombie. I forgot that was Abercrombie. <laughs> Stop, sorry, I went. Are you sure? No, I definitely have. I definitely. It's the fact that you're walking around with an it's, IKEA bag. Oh, don't. It's so embarrassing. But no, it's because this feels different. That feels different. One, that doesn't Westfield feel. Does not feel yeah. like a Abercrombie shop. That's no, amazing. No, exactly. Oh my gosh, they have Christmas coffee pods. How festive and cute. Okay, I'm on the hunt for a festive drink because they didn't have any matcha latte. Every time I order a matcha, they don't Sorry. have it. It really dampened my mood. You um, know what we need to open for you? An Emma uh, Chamberlain coffee. <gasps> that would be amazing. Yeah, they specialize in I just open matcha. I really fancy a nice drink. Emily got a nice drink though. I did. Let's go find you one. That's fine. Do you want to go down? There will, there will be somewhere that has a nice matcha, won't there? Let's see where next. This is Em's face right now because no matcha. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but <laughs> kind of is. Smiling internally. Mango time. so different to any other Abercrombie stores I've been into but oh my gosh how nice is this cardigan this store feels very clinical for an Abercrombie store this is quite a nice little coat though oh I like these pants I mean for summer not for winter but they're really nice they're the tailored pant but in stripes This just does not feel like an Abercrombie store at all. I like this dress. You can see the cardigan on a mannequin here. How nice is that with the pearl buttons? That did not feel like an Abercrombie store at all. All. That just felt really clinical. So bright. I feel like I'm so used to going to like the original Abercrombie. I walked in and I looked over at the jeans and I said to my vlog, I was like, I've never seen the jeans like this before. Even the Abercrombie in Westfield is dark. I Look, I don't like dark, I don't really like dark stores, but I feel like Abercrombie should be dark. Yeah. And that's like quite a clinical, I guess the space that we're in is very like, it's not clinical. Industrial. It's more like a Brooklyn industrial kind of, yeah. It's didn't smell like Abercrombie. They did have the nice cardigan though, the pearls on. And but it just wasn't a nice shopping experience. It just felt like I was walking into Mango or something. Mango did have some good stock though. Mm. Had some nice stuff. Everything is well stocked. Very well stocked. Because no one comes. Where else? Where do you want to go next? Let's go walk around. Pen Halligans. I know this is such a nice store, isn't it? It's so pretty. Hi. It smells so good in here.
have to go into Drive Alone. It looks so festive right now. You can get the personalised Battersea boxes here, which is so cute for a gift. And they have their gingerbread theme everywhere. I need these crackers. I'm obsessed with gingerbread men, and look, this is the cutest theme ever this year. They have a huge Apple store in here now. I might just quickly look at the headphones. I kind of want these, but not in this color. Um, but they are so expensive, but they just look so cool, don't they? I'm very tempted by them. just popped upstairs to have a look at the food hall which is actually just opened and they have a Nando's which I've never seen in here before and then if you flip around here I'm on the hunt for matcha you can see the ice rink and also down here you've got the ice rink you've got all the gorgeousness so we're gonna go try find me a matcha They do have a Gordon Ramsay bread street kitchen and bar. How utterly gorgeous does this look? It was so nice going into the body shop physical store. I actually helped years ago with the cutting of the ribbon and the opening the leaves store. And my mum used to put the body shop body butter on her tummy when I was in it. So I feel very like nostalgic with the body shop and I just absolutely love it. Their sleep range is amazing too. And their sheer range is my favorite. And their coconut range actually. It all just smells so good. And they have such good gift sets this year. I'm just telling the vlog about my nostalgia of the body shop and how I just think it's so nice and my mum's literally been putting it on her tummy since I was a baby. So like sweet. came out of the womb in it. Okay, where next? Zara, maybe? Yeah, let's Matcha, go. matcha and Zara. Let's get a drink. Let's go this way. I need to try this at some point. This looks absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, they're opening a boots here. This is gonna be so good. So you walk out here and there's more shops. There's a huge Zara and there's also a Massimo Dutti, which is so exciting. Emily just said, can you get a matcha from Burra Kitchen? Not realizing that it's actually a kitchen shop. Looks nice though. And then they just got dishoom. It's actually really small. Oh no, the entry that says, I was gonna say that's a tiny dishoom. Oh my gosh, I wish I had time to get breakfast from here. Our home. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. Gosh, Zara Home have leveled up. This branding is absolutely gorgeous. Fabric spray would make a gorgeous gift. Did not even know that they did like fabric spray, linen spray. Look how nice this looks. You wouldn't think that that was Zara, would you? And they have like these gorgeous trees. They have this range too. Again, I would never know that any of this was Zara. Really leveled up.
Sorry, I couldn't show you much in Zara. The home stuff was amazing though. At least I got to show you some home stuff. I've never seen a nicer Zara home. And um, the actual Zara clothes were gorgeous, but I didn't make it that much. Um, and we'll buy some stuff and try it on at home to show you guys. Next up, uh, Massimo. Do you say Massimo or Massimo? Massimo Dutti. a lot from here recently so I always like coming into store to see what they have. This is giving very business chic. I prefer their more like casual things. So nice. This is very rogue. Very weird. This is very me. I actually have something very similar from Zara but with gold buttons. jumper is so nice. I thought it was a jumper with a scarf around it for her, but it's actually just two men's jumpers on top of each other. So they've like laid that over it. Clever, but then you'd have to buy the jumper twice. Look how nice this velvet set is, wow. I always love going in here and looking at all of the Christmas snacks.
home right. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Note to self, don't walk home. My camera is drenched, my screen is drenched, I am drenched. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to have to wash my hair. But I did get some goodies, so let's talk through the goodies whilst I'm drenched. Also, oh, sorry, why are you so cute? Yeah, I really wanted to walk, so I was like, oh, I need the walk, I could do the walk, and I got absolutely drenched. But I am going to show you some bits and bobs that have come okay this actually just came in the post which i'm really excited for oh it looks a little bit big but hopefully it should be fine just a plain black dress you cannot beat a plain black dress i will try it on and pop me on the screen wearing it oh no i can adjust the front i just think it's going to be one of those forever pieces in my wardrobe that i can wear all the time and love a plain black dress what else is in the magic bag lulu oh my gosh okay so again i'm going to pop me on screen wearing this i truly cannot wait to try this on i hope it fits um i actually managed to get this discounted as well so it was meant to be like 100 and i think i got it for about 70 um i've wanted one of these for ages and they're never in stock online and i managed to get one it's a tennis dress i would have preferred it in white but honestly i think like i can wear a skirt with like a cute little top over i'm just very excited about this so happy about my energy balls Literally delicious. I had some in the fridge ready to grab and eat. Although they're so good, I only have two left. My hair is still so drenched. I also got two dresses from Skims, which I'm gonna try on on screen. This one is in kind of like a copper color and it's just the bodycon kind of um, uh, strappy one. I know I literally just said in Reformation, I don't want something strappy, but I don't want something strappy for my birthday. This isn't for my birthday. Then I got this one in Onyx, which is just kind of like the Holy Grail one. I actually prefer the long sleeve ones, but these ones were on sale. So I got this one in Onyx, which is kind of like an off black. I don't know if you can see, but I just think they're so easy to wear and you can pop like a jumper over the top, like what I'm wearing now, or you can pop a cardigan or you can wear it by itself. They're very versatile. I actually have something from Amazon, which is kind of like a t-shirt version, which was so affordable. It was like 20 pounds. I'll pop it on screen now. So if you are looking for like a nice underlayer that you can wear kind of like as a skirt, pop a jumper over it, then grab that because that's really good. But they're the skins pieces. What else did I get? From Space and K, I also got, I actually really wanted the big candle. Um, but I went for this. The scent is cotton and I just feel like it smells so fresh and amazing. It just smells like fresh cotton. I'm so sorry about my wet hair. I literally look like a wet dog right now. At least wet dogs are cute. Um, oh my God, even just opening this box, I can smell it. I really liked the scent of the one called Spain, but I liked that this had, that it says cotton on it. I just think it's really nice. Oh my gosh, look at the gold lid. That is absolutely amazing. <gasps> I need to wash my hair after getting caught in the rain, but oh my goodness, I saw something on Instagram that basically said, don't quote me on this. I don't know where the science comes from. Apparently, if you eat more dates, then you find labor easier. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's an old wives tale, but I eat so many dates, I am going to be fine, apparently. Also, my amazing cleaner from Fantastic Services was just around and she was like, I'm literally obsessed with your tree. She was saying how good it looks. And I am also obsessed with my tree. This is, I'm gonna link the exact one below, but she's seven foot. She's absolutely huge look. And I just think she looks so gorgeous. I know my garden isn't finished, but at least my fence looks nice. I'm actually obsessed with this tree. She's my forever tree. She's amazing. She's stunning. She's a literal work of art. And look at these. I'm honestly so beyond happy with her. Even the bows, I just can't even cope. I'm so happy.
The problem is they're so good. I just have to eat them now. <laughs> then they go in the fridge. We're lucky that any of them even made it to the fridge because I already ate three. They're so delicious, so easy, just so good to grab. Well, my new candle, but don't close your eyes so you can't see what it's meant to smell of. I want you to smell it and tell me what you think it smells of. <laughs> it's glow, so you can't because it says what it smells of on it. Don't worry, it's turned away from you. What do you think that smells of? I'll give you a clue, you smashed my big version. <laughs> well, actually, the big version was a different scent, but it's that brand. Just tell me, I dis ex describe it. I don't know. It's hard to explain what I think it's very like. fresh. It's quite fresh. It smells quite a little bit Christmassy. Okay, so when you turn it around and you see the name, it will all make sense. Cotton. It's like fresh linen. Oh. Is he not oh, no, um, yeah, just no. Now you say that, don't you think no, it's like fresh bed sheets? Yeah, it's, like it's nice though, isn't it? Like washing. Yeah, it's quite nice. That's just over here making some mid midday toast, aren't you? Mm. Sourdough butter, delicious. Good evening. Oh my goodness. I just applied some fake tan for the first time in ages and I am glowing. I don't know if it's in a good way. Um, no, it will look fine when it washes off in the morning. But oh my goodness, shopping at Batsy was so great. It's really nice because it's empty, but did I get anything that I needed? No. Did I find the birthday dress? No. I have loads of deliveries that have arrived today, so it's fine. The birthday dress is going to be in there. I know it is, and I have to leave this vlog here because tomorrow, oh my goodness, the excitement begins. The birthday party is actually coming. There's a lot of prep I need to do, so I have to go. I have to stop shopping, which is why I place so many online orders because I just think it's so much easier. I tried loads of stuff on, it wasn't working for me, but you know what? We still had a nice girls' day out. Did get some nice beauty stuff actually, but yeah, I'm really excited to try on all of the stuff for my birthday that I actually didn't buy in Battersea at all. They actually just have had delivered to my house. So yes, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm really trying to do vlogmas this year, whether that's just me uploading a video every day, but I feel like it might be overkill for you guys because I know there's so many wonderful content creators that you want to watch. So if you are here, you've made it to the end of this, thank you so much. It means so much that you're watching my videos or maybe you're like binge watching them. I don't know. Comment below if you are here for the vlogmas, you are watching them or comment and let me know if you're just dipping in to a few that suit you. Um, I just really appreciate you being here because I know there's a lot of noise on YouTube at the moment and a lot of people uploading. The fact that you are watching my video and you've chosen to spend your evening or day with me just means so, so, so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're not part of the family, love if you could hit the subscribe button um, and also come say hi on Instagram. There's some really exciting things happening this week and I would love you to be a part of them. You're going to see a vlog every day around 4pm or some form of video from me, so keep in the loop with me make sure you've got the notification bell on give this a thumbs up to let youtube know that you like it and come say hi on instagram and i will see you very soon